the Viptela templates. Okay, so what is the template and why do we need it? And what is the, the you know, uh, how it is helpful to, you know, further uh, to the, you know, standardization and deployment across the SD WAN. So the Cisco SD WAN Viptela provides various type of the template that is used to configure the various configuration parameter by one go or without CLI. So if you understand the summary of the template, template is something which is helping you with the help of automation to push the complete configuration on the device in a one go or without even CLI. So you don't touch the CLI, you do the configuration from the GUI. So let's say for an example, if I don't know the uh, command line for everything on the for the XC devices, I can simply use the uh, template to push the configuration and template in a backend. Will pro I mean templates are providing me a GUI and they can push the configuration in a backend based on the whatever model it is existing, right? So what it is providing us the template is a sort of the automation framework where I'm not even enough executed, I can still configure the device. In addition to do that, it is also providing me help to build the consistent configuration across the globe. So what does it mean by the consistent ac configuration across the globe is that in number of the devices which are attached with the template will have the same configuration in regards of the uh, AAA, in regards of the SNMP, in regards of the security, in regards of the, you know, service chaining and all those stuff, the, what they will have the different is the variable information, right? So that's where the, the, we can have the consistency configuration. And also we don't need to type the 500 lines every time on each device. And we write it down once in a template and template will take care of posting the similar syntaxes on all those devices which are being attached to it. So what does it mean by the attach? Is that let's say you are attached to me. That mean to say whatever configuration I want to apply that you will follow, right? You cannot, uh, you know, if the device is attached to the template, which just means that it's managed by the vManage, you, the device cannot, you, you cannot make the direct changes on the device by the CLI. It will throw you error. Okay, so now what type of the templates do we have? So templates are being basically split into the two part. One is a device template, okay? And another one is the feature template. Now, why we call it the, this device template is that because this can be attached directly to the device. Okay, so this can be attached to the device. Other one, you cannot attach this to the template. I, you cannot attach this directly to the template. This will be uh, a, a small, small piece of the templates. Let's see, OSPF section is a one, AAA section is another one, uh, maybe interface section is another one, VPN section is another one. So this is basically a small, small split of the, the template, which is further going to attach to the uh, device template. So what does it mean by that? Now device template is basically being split into the two. So I'll write it down here something. So device template is being split into the two part. One we call it a CLI. Other one is being called as an a from feature. Hmm. 
so from feature okay so what does it mean by that is that device template can be made in a two method one is the cli and cli is the template which you write down the syntaxes on top of that right you know the syntax information about the device uh, about the device model other one is the from feature which is actually being made by the feature template so what does it mean by that you create a small small uh I'm sorry. this from feature is the the basically made by the feature template okay so how it is being made by the feature template like i said feature template is the uh, small part of the templates right so for an example i do have a ospf i do have a bgp i do have a vpn i do have a different interfaces now i cannot attach a small small piece uh, to the device so to attach those consolidate all of those small features we call it a from feature template right once all these small small feature template will be called inside the from feature template that is actually a type of the device template which can directly applied to the device right in the cli you know the syntaxes you tap the syntaxes and build the template uh, that that's what we call it the the two type of the template now how we define so if you see here the feature template is being system separate security separate transport separate service separate routing separate and blah 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 and further this can be mapped to here to the feature template uh, from feature template which is a device template right and this can be attached to the device directly now in in the cli you have to write it everything by the cli right other and when i say the cli is that doesn't mean that you are going to type every command on the device you are writing out somewhere on the kind of the the format on the we manage and further you can apply that configuration on the device right now in the default setting so there are two three type of the options we have where we you know select that one is the default setting where we say that system default value so for an example what is the ad value of the ospf 110 which is a default right so if i want to keep it a default i will see that system default right whatever is the default value which is being provided by the best practices or the standard from the cisco is the called as system default value right now let's say we you know you want to see ad value you want to see uh you know the any other parameter may be a uh, preference or anything and then further we have a global setting the same value on the all attached devices right so it says same value on all attached devices mean that let's say you have the ad value 110 but you don't want to keep it a 110 you want to keep it 120 for all of the devices that's where you will see a global value if you want to run the process id of ospf across the globe same process id you can say that this is a global value right which is something non standard right another one is the device specific which is the value which will be considered to be applied every time on each individual device so for an example ip address ip address cannot be a global neither can be a default right ip address has to be changed for each individual device maybe a system ip address has to be changed every time so those kind of the settings we call it a device specific which is per device value using value right value is specified at the time of the template adjustment are called the device uh, specific setting so these are the value which you have to fill up every time manually when you are attaching the template to the device right any question vishnu so far no sir this is the device template you mentioned there is a cli and a from features right right can you can you differentiate that one more time so okay so i'll i'll differentiate how okay so let's say uh one thing is that you know the uh syntax of the vh 
okay and you uh you want to write down the each and individual command line of the device in the we manage so that if next time or any number of the time the same models come the template can be attached right but that you can do when you know the syntax of the device right if you don't know the syntax of the device you cannot do it right however in a from feature it is a gui type of the method where you have a small small feature template okay you select okay i want to make the configuration for asr i want to make the configuration for vh1k i want to make a configuration for vh2k csr blah 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 and then based on that you just need to drag and drop you didn't need to type the syntax is okay config t syntax blah i mean uh, i router ospf and or the process id blah blah you don't need to write those you just need to do the drag and drop once you drag and drop you created those small small template and attach it to the from feature template that's all for today video on the powerful template capability of the Cisco ST1 web tela we hope that you found this simple to informative and helpful for your networking needs if you have any question comment please do leave them in the comment section below also if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please give a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues and friends if you haven't already subscribed our channel please go ahead and subscribe to get the updates about the next upcoming videos thank you for watching we will see you in the next video